Hi, I'm Gordon Sinclair from Replay Expo, and you're watching Gamer Dads TV. Arcade stands. They had a, uh, a stand in the replays from last year's. I'm sure you saw from last year's vidcasts. Make very nice. Exactly what it says on the tin. Bespoke arcades. So this is the kind of setup you can have in your house as long as your wife loves you enough. What's all about Gamer Dads? A dad and his boy playing some Street Fighter 2. This is what the Retro Zone can do for you. Lots of uh, dads and younger kids uh, showing them what they used to play back in their day. And also lots of younger people seeing what it's all about. We've got some four player Goldeneye over there. Always a good one. Well, that brings up some memories for you. Obviously, a Sonic fanboy here. So, Gordon Sinclair, thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Um, so, well, it's been a year since we met at uh, your Gamer Expo, uh, your Gamer Expo, at Replay <laughs> Expo even, sorry about that, but your game on the mind. So, it's obviously it's been a year, what, 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 uh, what have you been up to in that time? I well, since the, um, the massive success of the, the Expo last year, we've, uh, we've created Replay Events, um, at which is now a, a full-time uh, full events management business uh, based around video gaming. So um, we not only do we put on our own Expos now um, with the likes of the Blackpool Replay Expo, where we also provide this kind of uh, venue um, with their own replay zone replay retro zones so we're we're branching out into other people's events as well as putting on our own excellent stuff 
I mean, would you mind giving us a quick tour of the stand? Let uh, show us what, what's here. Absolutely, we've got a huge, um, a huge stall here in uh, at, at Eurogamer. It's actually. Um, one of the biggest stands here which is amazing yeah. and to think that some of the huge brand new triple a titles um are getting less space than we are with our little old retro games I so uh, <laughs> so it's ab absolutely uh, awesome that we've got a stand of the of this size and and looking as good as this so i'll run you through some of the machines that we've got here yeah. um obviously nobody can uh, can forget the classic playstation uh, running Tomb Raider at the moment. Uh, we we have had a few other games running on there today, but everybody knows and loves Tomb Raider, so we've uh, that that's been getting a lot of love. Um, next up is PlayStation Two. Yeah. Not quite sure which shooter this is, but uh, yeah, we've been playing shooters all day on the, on on here. Um, nice nice joystick setup. Chunky Xbox? The, the, the good old fashioned chunky Xbox. Everybody loves this. Playing, uh, I think that's Dead or Alive, or, or is it? Let's see. Let's see what this game is. Looks like Dead or Alive Looks to like me. Looks like Dead or Alive to me, yeah. Yep, there we go. Yeah, so, go. Xbox running uh, Dead or Alive. That, that's that been getting a lot of play. The Neo Geo AES. Oh, I think this gets we get quite a lot of people playing this machine, but I think it's only because of the fight sticks, and they think that it's um, some fancy machine because it's got these big fight sticks. <laughs> I'm not too keen on the game and that, that's in there, but you know it's, it, it's it's a fantastic machine, so we always like to bring that one out. The Atari Jaguar, love it or hate it, it's a great machine. It's got some fantastic games. Tempest 2000 awesome game only available on this system so it really is um, I love it or hate it system I love it yeah oh here's a classic and then we have got a classic we've got the Atari 2600 with running Pac-Man it's not the greatest version of Pac-Man but still yeah. it's a good introduction <laughs> to the machine we've yeah. been running a lot of games on here um, Outlaw has been particularly popular on this system Okay, so we'll move over now onto, onto the other side where we're showing more of the, uh, the home computer systems rather than consoles. Uh, we've got an Amiga 600 here with uh, Sensible Soccer. Sensible Soccer has been pro possibly the most popular game of the weekend. Um, I can imagine. I, for me at least, I know I've played it almost constantly. <laughs> we're then running the BBC B. I think it's a B and not a master. Um, on here we've got a, a brand new game that, that's actually been uh, launched here at, at Eurogamer, Blurp, uh, that, that's just been created by Retro Software. Um, right. So if anybody's interested in Blurp for the BBC, then just head to uh, retrosoftware.co.uk. What's next, Gordy? Next up we've got a uh, PC running Doom, or is that Wolfenstein? Uh, looks like it might be uh, Wolfenstein uh, actually. Or is it... Oh, it's not even Wolfenstein, it's a bit too futuristic, can't mm. tell. I recognise, I can't remember what it's called though. It's, it's a good old fashioned FPS before they turned them into uh, three, three thumbs and uh, 18 fingers to, <laughs> to be able to play them. <laughs> We've then got a ZX Spectrum now. This isn't Beautiful. running anything at the moment. Um, it's, a, it's a ZX Spectrum with a Divide um, memory card. So we can run a number of uh, different games without having to load them from tape. Problem is, the memory card is bust. So. Ah. Yesterday and, and the day before, we, a lot of people were enjoying Manic Miner and uh, Chucky Egg and games like that. Today, all people have been able to do is just enjoy typing in little programs to say the Gordon is <laughs> ace and things like that. <laughs> Next up, we have the Commodore 64. Now, we, this is another machine where we've had a bit, little bit of a failure. Uh, the machine wouldn't work. Um, sorry, the disk drive wouldn't work and we didn't bring any tapes. So we're, what we've done there is we've used the old Jack's um, TV plug-in. Um, Commodore 64. Cheat. <laughs> it, <laughs> but you know, at least you've got the. Uh... Yeah, we, we never would have done that if, if we'd have had the discs to play the games. <laughs> um, but to make sure that people got an opportunity to play some Commodore 64, um, California games, things like that, the, the, the plugins are good enough thing. Another Amiga here, the 1200 this time, playing an absolute classic, IK. Plus. Um, we're hoping that, that we may even get uh, Arch McLean back to uh, to replay this year so that he can do another challenge on, on IK Plus and, and, and play against the, uh, the the competition winner. Um, and we'll be running other uh, Beat the Creator uh, competitions at replay this year. We've certainly already got one planned for Classic Worms, so that should be good fun. Brilliant, brilliant. Over the other side of the room, um, we've got uh, a number of classic Japanese candy cabs um, running mostly shooters and fighters. Um, in the middle area, on, on both sides of the stall, we've got 
uh, the replay lounge and this is the communal multiplayer gaming so we've got a number of systems except for some strange reason this one here that's running Sonic on, <laughs> in one player um, everything else has been set up to run multiplayer gaming and, and this has been one of the most popular parts of the, uh, uh, of the event it, and it's great to just see people laughing and joking and uh, just having a great time in, in a bit of competitive play yeah. Replay Challenge is the competition zone Competition is over at the moment, but we, we ran earlier a uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo tournament. We've got another replay challenge zone on the other side that has been running uh, comp speed runs on Sonic, um, a speed run on Mario, and a Burnout 3 competition. I'll tell you what, Game of Dads. These old consoles were a hell of a lot more powerful than I remember. I think it's been modded myself. It's biased against me, I'm telling you. <laughs> Hello, this is Moobit from GameDads.co.uk with a dead camera battery, so we've now swapped to an iPhone 4, which is always handy, because there's no mic in. So hopefully you can hear me. This is Burnout Free Competition. Um, as you can see, very popular. Basically, try, you get three goes, try and cause as much damage as you can. And this is the view of Retro Gaming. There's more people here than in any of the stands put together after through the day. No matter what time you come, it's always, always busy. What I'm going to do, I think, is get, my, get myself down there and see what score I can get, and we'll uh, report back on the thing. I might be rubbish, but we'll, we'll, why not have a go? Okay. Hello, this is Boobie from GameDads at Cody UK. I'm just about to try out the Burnout uh, Free, is it? Burnout Free? Yeah. Yeah, it's the Burnout Free Crash uh, Challenge, so which one? Okay. Let's do this. Let's make an accelerator break, is it? Uh, yeah, accelerate is right trigger, and break is left trigger. I'm going to be rubbish. Do you want to show me a sad face? Yeah, very nice. <laughs> I was going for that to try and get an angle into the car, but never mind. It's not going to work, is it? <laughs> try again. Yeah. Attempt two. Not a lot. Not a lot at all. Five, seven. seven, do, seven. do let me know if you want me to ride it on the board, but it's clearly not going to be as high <laughs> as that. So, so at the yeah. moment you're you're losing. No. Well, <laughs> might, as well, yeah. might as well give up now, wouldn't I? Really? <laughs> well, you got one more go. Come on, go for it then. Have you go. Yeah. Right. You've done badly. Yeah, epic fail. I'm afraid to say. Epic fail. I don't even write that down, man. <laughs> Abu. <laughs> And then finally, we have Replay Mini, um, which is our handheld and tabletop gaming uh, systems. So we've got a, a large number in it from the Lynx, the uh, Game Boy Advance, original Game Boys, Game Boy Color. Um, the, the, 
the Game Boy Colours and, and the original Game Boys are, are also linked up, um, so you can play a bit of Mario Golf against each other and uh, or Tetris in, in link up play. And then we've got some classic Grandstand games, uh, Scramble and Astro Wars. Uh, Lots of stuff here at the uh, re at the expo. It's almost like a mini version of the Blackpool show, really. Uh, absolutely, and that's really what we wanted to do here: is to give people a, a taster of what Replay Expo this year will, will be about. Um, obviously, at the uh, Replay Expo, we'll have um, some of the modern stuff as well. Um, we'll be bringing back the PS3s and Xboxes and that kind of uh, those kind of systems as well. But this is a really good feel for what the uh, what the expo is going to be about. Excellent. So uh, if people want to find out more about uh, the Replay Expo over in Blackpool, I mean, can you tell us when it is and sure. when we can get tickets and such? Uh, Replay Expo this year is on the 5th and 6th of November uh, at the Norbrick Castle Exhibition Centre in Blackpool. It's the last week of the Illuminations and it's also Bonfire Night, so it's a, a great opportunity to just spend some fun time in Blackpool anyway. Um, so if anybody wants to find out more, they can go to replayexpo.com or if they want to find out more about the other things that Replay Events are up to, then go to replayevents.com or, or check us out on Twitter and Facebook. Hey, sir, Gordon Sinclair, thank you for being on the show. Thank you.